When you see a patient who has really been a prisoner to their disease for a year and then you're able to see them get their life back together, there's nothing more rewarding. So IBS is irritable bowel syndrome, and that constitutes a whole wide variety of syndromes. This inflammatory bowel disease encompasses two main subtypes, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Patients with ulcerative colitis generally experience diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, sometimes associated with abdominal pain or discomfort and cramping. What's important about Crohn's disease is it can affect any part of the GI tract from the mouth to the anus. The nice advance is that over the past few years we have newer drugs available that have a better safety profile. It's not okay just to react to a patient's symptoms. We want to proactively ensure that we heal a patient's inflammation. Patients with ulcerative colitis have an increased risk of colon cancer. By reducing or hopefully eliminating inflammation, we can prevent some of these complications from occurring. One of the advantages to seeking a subspecialist is we see certain conditions day after day after day. You start to notice patterns and you have experience of what's worked for certain types of patients. One thing that Mayo excels at is managing a complicated patient who has more than one thing going on. The involvement of our colleagues and the other disciplines that support our IBD practice is unparalleled in my experience. If we listen to what people tell us, we can usually figure out what's going on and we can provide them hope and we can usually get them in a better place.